Today we're going to be working on lead code question number 372, superpower. Uh, your task is, is to calculate A raised power B modulus 1337, which is just a number. Where A is a positive integer and B is an extremely large positive integer given in the form of an array. So basically it's going to be 2 raised power 3, which is going to be 8 and modulus of 1337 is still going to be 8. Similarly, 2 raised power 10 is going to be 1024 and modulus of 1337 is still going to be the same answer and 1 raised power anything is going to stay 1. Okay, the way we're going to be doing it is uh, we're going to be using a helper function here uh, just to kind of um, break down the code so even before that now uh, we're gonna have our private static uh, final int let's call it m now uh, for the modulus uh, we're gonna be taking the modulus of our intermittent results with this number so that m is gonna be 1337 Okay, superpower is basically we are the result is never gonna be greater than this one. So initial thing we wanna do is to take the modulus of a one three three seven. Meaning if it is greater than one three three seven, we're just gonna take a mod. After that, we're gonna start our result equals to one, and then we're gonna have a loop because this. Uh, this B is in the form of uh, an array. Uh, we're going to start with the length minus 1. I is greater than or equal to 0. And then I negative negative. Okay. And then what we're going to be doing is that our result is equal to result multiplied by uh, we're going to call our helper function Helper is basically a normal power. Uh, helper function, which is basically a normal power. We're going to send it A and uh, this B of I. So we are actually processing B's uh, starting from the, uh, the least significant to the most significant. So in this case, in example three, we're going to be sending B uh, two and then five and then eight and then three, three and then four. OK, and we want to make sure that the answer which is returned back from the helper function stays less than M. So we're going to be taking the mod. OK, and then we're going to say that that helper function needs to so every single time we are gonna be because the helper is basically a regular power some like a raised power b without even thinking about the mod so so every single time we're gonna increase because we're not sending the num uh, the the complete array we're just taking helper function one at a time so we're gonna be updating our a by that helper function so in other words we're going to be updating a by uh, to a raised power 10 so once we are done with that we can return the result what helper function does public and it returns an end It takes two numbers, int A and int B. Okay, again it sets the result equals to 1. And uh, while the B is not equal to 0, uh, there are two things. If the B is basically So if the B is if the B is odd, right? We're gonna we're gonna if the B is odd, we're gonna set our result equals to result 
multiplied by a modulus b uh, m which is a hard coded uh, number 1337 so we want to say that the if the b modulus 2 is not equal to 0 then we're gonna be doing that right otherwise it's just simply a is every single time it's gonna get multiplied twice a square but keeping remember that we cannot exceed uh, m so we're gonna keep that like we're gonna still keep it taking the modulus of that and then the b is gonna be every single time divided by 2 so this is how you would take the uh, the regular power of two numbers but remember that uh, if it is b is odd right because every single time you are actually uh, so if it is even it is simply gonna keep doing that we are just dividing every single time by two but if it is odd like if it becomes odd then we need to uh, uh, do it one more time the result is gonna be uh, uh, b basically at that time we're gonna update our result whenever it becomes odd because we're gonna keep doing it until it becomes zero and then we can just return the result Looking good. Yep, and it works.